Good morning, Antoinette. Good morning, Doug. I'm a little off my eye-opener game. I'm a guest with you guys. I used to be a mainstay on this, and it's, it's early. I wouldn't use the word cold, but it is brisk. So yes, it is true. A hand warmer is in my hand just to make sure that I'm ready for this shift. But if you're running today, it's not going to be near this cold as Cindy was talking about. And that includes the elite men, the professional men who leave at 937 this morning Evans Chibet is the one to watch. Why? Because he's going for a three-peat. The Kenyan trying to do it three years in a row as he goes down Boylston Street. We'll see if he can. And if he does it this year again, Chibet will become the first man to accomplish three back-to-back -back wins since Robert Kipko Kipkoich Chariot did it in 2008. By the way, uh, three straight, only four other men have done it. So who could beat him? Well, Gabriel Gay could do it. He finished just behind Chibet in second place here in Boston last year. Sisse Lemma, the world's fourth fastest marathoner in history. He is running today as well. On the women's side, Helen O'Beary going for back-to-back -back wins. She was the first woman in 34 years to win both Boston and New York in the same year. And last year's run in Boston was just her second marathon ever. O'Beary has a lot of competition though this year. Tadu Tishome of Ethiopia making her Boston debut. Her personal best of 217.36 is better than anyone in the field. American Emma Bates finished fifth in Boston last year, just 32 seconds behind O'Beary. Emma, by the way, one of those people, along with O'Beary, who Nauco, my coworker in the sports department, featured while being out in Colorado. We will see if Colorado and those hills transfer here to Boston and these hills. A lot of training out in hills to get ready for this course, guys. Yeah. The uh, hills of Newton feels like Pike's Peak for some. All right, Josh, thank you. Let's take a look today at the wheelchair division as well. Switzerland's Marcel Hoog is a six-time Boston champ. He set a new course record last year. American Daniel Romanchuk has won this race twice before. He made history in 2019 when he became the youngest men's wheelchair champion in race history and the first American to win it since 1993. Now to the women's wheelchair division. Four-time Boston champ. Manuela Char of Switzerland owns the course record. She set that seven years ago. She's going to be challenged by Tokyo Paralympic gold medalist Madison DeRoz, DeRo, DeRo, excuse me, Madison DeRazio. The Australian finished this race in second place last year. Just last week, defending champion Susanna Scaroni, she had to drop out of the race because of a shoulder injury. So lots to watch for this morning.